A unique format as the V8s took to the sand down track. Grid positions for the Enduro co-drivers up for grabs in the opening qualifying session for the Sandown 500. Oh, that was so close to rolling over. It was unbelievably high on two wheels. Todd Kelly testing the limits on the 3.1 kilometre circuit and as FPR's Mark Winterbottom set the early benchmark. So let's see what Frosty does for this lap. He's two tenths up and he goes to the top 109.6. But Kelly wasn't the only one having problems. It's Craig Lowndes who just set his first fly up. He's been bumped back to six, then he escapes. The team Vodafone driver would recover, though, after being trapped in 14th. Lowndes responds, 19.4. He's got nearly two tenths of a second up on Winterbottom. But Frosty's teammate would soon send a message across the pit garage. Davison to the top of the 9.36. Great job. Van Gisbergen second, 9.44. And with the clock ticking, Davison's time would come under siege from Garth Tander. He's 0.12 up on Davison. Davison with a 9.36. The end of this lap is, old, is very, very important. It's ultra hard to get that run onto the straight, Matty. And look at your timing monitor, how close Jamie Wincup is as well. So this is going to be a knockout. Two, position two for Tanda. Where does Wincup go? He stays at 10th. So the championship leader's co-driver with it all to do from the fifth row of the grid in the first qualifying race. Garth Tander, the big improver. Nick Burkett set to start from the front row alongside Will Davison's co-driver, John McIntyre. The championship's other main contenders filling the first three rows of the grid. David Murdoch, Big Pond Sport.